What's up Nintendo gamers, the kid here with another Mario Kart 8 update. So again, through Nintendo of Europe, we have some more new looks at confirmed tracks for Mario Kart 8, which include Bone Dry Dunes, Cloud Top Cruise, and most recently, Sunshine Airport. So with that, guys, this is the news. Let's get into my thoughts and opinion about everything that's been shown. So one thing I just want to go ahead and point out is I know that two of these pictures are old we already had these a couple of weeks ago and the only one really new is sunshine airport the reason why i didn't do immediate updates on these two is because i wanted there to be more of a build up for me to show a little bit more in the update instead of just doing an update for just one of them so if anyone was wondering why i haven't gotten to this earlier that's why and i'm sorry if you felt like I uh, wasn't doing what I was supposed to be doing. That's the reason why I, I just waited because I didn't want to just blow out updates for the game for just small little things or just one new look at a track. So about the tracks anyway, looks great. Uh, bone Dry Dunes, I always want to call that Dry Bone Dunes because dry bones but bone dry dunes looks really nice it's it's one of those tracks that again it entangles and everything you can actually see where um, one of the flying sections are right by the finish line and if you guys look just a little bit I'm gonna zoom in a little bit you can see a shy guy logo could this mean that shy guy is going to be a playable character in here or is it just a banner for him like any other characters but I don't see why they would have a shy guy banner right there if he wasn't in the game I mean they have toad right there and he's in the game but they have that type of stuff in Mario Kart so it's up for speculation but it is possible for it to just be something there for decorative purposes and with cloud top cruise wow this stage looks awesome I mean after watching Game Explain's analysis on this, it really showed how much detail Nintendo EAD put in this game. I mean, the whole the whole vine thing is coming out of a block much like in Super Mario games when you hit certain blocks, a vine comes out and you can go to this like cloud section or just a hidden section in the sky and this shows and not only does it show here but it's also rusted and you know it's it's uh it looks like it's been there for a long time like something's done that and the big thing about it is it's rusted it's old and everything's and it's gigantic so what could have possibly hit that block to do that but nonetheless it's a great looking track i mean phenomenal and you know it has airships in it it looks great too i like that they got the airships in there it just adds a lot more personality to it will we actually venture on those airships will there be a part in the race where you actually are driving on the airship i don't know we haven't seen that much of this track but that would be awesome if we could. But so far, it just seems like maybe you'll pass through them in the air through uh, some flying section. So Sunshine Airport, on the other hand, that's great. You know, Nintendo, one thing I got to commend them for with their Mario games is how consistent they have been with the games as far as having them a part of Mario's universe. And in these games like Mario Kart, you always see al delfino or super mario sunshine reference in some way and most of the time it receives its own stage and this pretty much started with the gamecube mario kart uh double dash where you had i, I believe it was called peach beach or something like that um and it was on al delfino and you had all the 
the Al Delfino people there. And it looks like they're doing the same thing here with Sunshine Airport. Of course, it's somewhere near Al Delfino. It's actually like an island itself. It's just floating there in the water. Um, it's a really cool stage. I mean, I never thought I would see an airport stage, but that's cool. I think this will put it right up there with um, the mall in the Mario uh, Kart Wii, which uh, was a really cool track, but this just takes the cake. I mean, the airport, planes flying, there's tons of set pieces here. It looks awesome, just great. Um, so with that, guys, those are my thoughts. What do you think about everything here about the new tracks and everything, uh, especially Bone Dry Dunes and Cloud Top Cruise? What do you think about those? two tracks which look utterly amazing even though we haven't seen that much of them they just look amazing so hopefully what track do you want to see uh, new again um, maybe uh, a new track like uh, the new club Koopa it's not official the name but you know everybody's calling it club koopa do you want to see a new look at that tell me down in the comments below so thank you guys for watching don't forget to like and favorite this video and subscribe for more mario kart 8 updates and updates and news on upcoming nintendo games in general see you guys next update